Hello, this is Josh, first mate on Adrian Mirwald, bringing the Bay Shore to you. This is part five of our watershed series and a continuation of plastic and its effects. In our last video, we discussed the history, composition, and quantity of plastic on our planet. Today, we'll see how after plastic enters our watershed, it affects our oceans. Each year, approximately 2.41 million tons of plastic drift into our ocean via the watersheds. Over half of this is buoyant, floating at the surface, while the other half sinks to the depths. Now these floating pieces of plastic are transported by oceanic currents that converge in slowly spiraling whirlpools called gyres. So imagine them as the slowest spinning toilets you've ever seen. And even though they spin slowly, like all vortexes, they pull things in. There are gyres in every ocean, but the largest, most infamous, is the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. It is said that that patch is three times the size of France and twice as big as Texas. Upon entrance to these gyres, the plastics become entrapped. Most unfortunately, the majority of modern plastics that we have in our oceans do not biodegrade in the benign nothingness. Instead, over the course of years, in exposure to the sun, salt, marine life, and waves, it simply becomes smaller and smaller until it turns into tiny bits called microplastics. In a 2018 survey, Ocean Cleanup estimated that not including microplastics, there are about 1.8 trillion visible pieces of floating plastic in the Pacific Gyre alone. Even still, the Pacific Gyre is not so much a trash island, though there are some large pieces of plastic adrift like this, which can take between 450 and 1,000 years to break down into microplastics. Rather, the dryer is primarily a plastic soup most of whose contents are transparent, tiny, and virtually everlasting. Now, just because microplastics are small does not mean that they aren't dangerous. In fact, it's their minuscule size that makes them so catastrophically devastating. Now, we'll experience these consequences in our next video, where we'll uncover the many hazards of plastic material itself and the process of generating that plastic. What dangers do you think that plastic might present against our environment and to you? How can we slow down or eliminate the migration of plastics into our oceans? This has been Josh with another Science and Sailors bringing the Bayshore to you.